We're here at the SDN NFE World Congress with Alexander Jeffries, CEO of Stordis. Alexander, thank you for joining us on Telecom TV today. Pleasure. Your company offers some very interesting open networking solutions to the market, not just the telecoms market either, um, but why should CSPs be interested in open networking infrastructure solutions? So on one side, it's the cost savings because you can actually acquire um, the same hardware but with uh, no tier one brand name on it. So you can actually, well, the equipment's built in the same factory, then you have uh, flexibility of different software. Uh, so there's a very big cost savings also on the support side of things. But also you gain the flexibility to react to new business requirements very fast through using a disaggregated model or flexible uh, solution. And what is it exactly that Stordis offers? What, what, what is it you bring that, that, and, and what's unique about your solutions? So since this year we actually focus completely on the open networking market, so disaggregated model. Um, so we to make this happen, well, we've been in the market for multiple years, so selling the switches and software and these kind of things, so to actually make it very successful, we need to be in a position to consult and advise all kinds of companies, so CSPs, broadcasters, or even big companies, uh, how to deal with the open networking and the challenges with it, the benefits and the risks and anything like this, so we offer all the consulting. We can do the integration as well, and most importantly, we can support the entire solution, so there are multiple parts, and uh, so you've got one vendor for hardware, you've got another software vendor or software solution, different uh, SDN controllers, orchestration levels, automation. So you actually need to, well, it's the whole solution which needs to be supported. So that's the biggest risk and challenge as well for all these companies looking into this. So our approach is that we actually can support the whole solution there. As part of this strategy, um, you um, joined the ONF as well? Yes, um, this year we joined the Open Networking Foundation, so we're actively contributing to the ONOS uh, project, which is the yeah, Open Networking Operating System or the SDN controller from the ONF. We're also supporting the activities around Stratum and uh, other projects there. Yes. And, and we're actually also a very keen supporter and uh, actively doing stuff around the P4 uh, programming language. Uh, and with all this work you're doing, um, how important is collaboration? Collaboration is absolute key. <laughs> so, uh, that involves lots of traveling, of course, because you need to know lots and lots of people. So we've got contacts uh, massively in the Bay Area to the different uh, ASIC vendors, uh, be it Broadcom, be it Barefoot, uh, Intel, uh, Cavium, or now Marvel. And uh, we also have got lots of contacts to the different switch manufacturers who build the platforms. Then we have contacts to many, many different software vendors doing the switch OSs, so which are usually open source based, but commercial grade. And then there are also many different open source based options as well, which we're looking at. So, And then we also collaborate with the academics who are researching all these new topics. So, and jointly doing work and looking at joint collaborations and developments. So it's absolute m mandatory and key to actually be successful. <laughs> And, and what's new at this year's SDN NFE World Congress from you? Well, we are showing a demo here with the Open Networking Foundation together where we're actually uh, demoing ONOS and Statum and Trellis, which are three of the ONF projects, and also the in-band uh, telemetry from Barefoot uh, Deep Insight. So that's something we're showing here this year, <laughs> which is quite, well, a few of these uh, projects are also very new to within the Open Networking Foundation. You know, a, a final question for you. Um, the, the, the development of open networking is it, it, it's very rapid, um, and there's a lot of projects on, on, the, on the go. Um, are, are your customers em embracing this yet? Are the telcos and CSPs fully fully seeing what open networking can bring to them? I, I wouldn't say all, but there are a few key ones who are very actively participating in that and looking at deploying these options, and also actually contributing to the open community and by contributing. Uh, software and development resources, so definitely yes. <laughs> it's not, not all, of course. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> One day soon, you, you never know. <laughs> uh, I, I guess that the others will have to follow at some stage because the ones leading this, of course, they've got the biggest work and challenges and risks with it, but on the other side, they can deploy faster and uh, benefit of the gains from this much earlier, so um, the others will have to follow or, well, it has a very severe impact on the profitability, so they, they will have to move. Alexander, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Pleasure, thank you.